All right, final event then, race uh, number 10 on the program, and the uh, the last is a class three, 1400 metres uh, the trip here, headed by People's Knight, third on the year with the last amount, is a four-time course and distance winner. Uh, Fenrir makes his uh, Hong Kong debut, a two-time winner out of the UK. Happy fun, last start course and distance winner at Big Odds. High volatility, last start winner as well. He likes to roll forward. Silver Fig will be ridden by Neil Callan, jumps on board, he won Neil on Silver Fig, two starts back. Charizard, a two-time winner over the 1200 metres, behind Happy Fun, last time out, Ultimate Glory, won two starts back as well. Little Wise Man and Sonic Fighter both come up in class. Little Wise Man was a course and distance winner, beating Sonic Fighter. People's Night, Happy Fun and Pickin' are the horses that have been up at Chung Fa within the last month. All right, uh, let's take a look at the speed in the final race of the day. And high volatility, Happy Fun might duel early. Gold win might be caught wide. Mighty Maverick's a chance of pressing on two from a wide barrier. And um, there's one or two down lower as well that should kick through. So should uh, produce a fair speed, you would think, in the initial stages. Uh, People's Night comes into this race now well rated. Last time he did win was off this rating of 80. He's got a wide draw to contend with. Interesting jockey booking with Zach Purden teaming up here with John Moore. So uh, wide barrier 13 just might make it a bit tricky for him. Uh, Fenra is the first starter. He's at 1160 pounds. He's had three trials. He's missed the start, all three trials. So I'm not sure if he's quite ready there. You see, he was pushed out a little bit at the end. Mythical Wolf, uh, you tell me, uh, Andrew. Yeah, North uh, Mythology. That's right. And Norse Mythology there. And uh, Silver Fig, he's been a bit, little bit unlucky with his... A uh, few runs recently, but as a winner, uh, two starts ago, he's dropped 27 pounds, uh, this horse, going into the race. But it looks OK for him. Nearly a year since he's raced Fenrir, uh, gilded mm. as well in January. All right, OK. His uh, name was uh, Voyager Blue. Jamie Osborne trained him in the UK. We're going to start off, though, with uh, Happy Fun. I won at Brick Price uh, last time out under Grant Van Neerkirk. Happy fun, Grant. That was something, winning at 65 to 1 last time. Yeah, he gave me a nice field. Um, look, he is a horse that prefers the softer, softer game. Um, he's, he's a galloper. I've trialled him a few times before uh, I won in him, and he likes to, 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 to gallop along. I think he's a bit of pace in the race. So I'm, I'm just hoping uh, you know, I could uh, get him up there and get him, get him galloping. Look, he's got, he's got a terrible barrier, but um, if he's quick out, and I was drawing 13 on him last time, and he was pretty quick out, and he galloped along quite nicely, so hopefully I can do the same. You mentioned before you've trialled him. You've trialled him since that last start when you've also given him a gap up. How's he come out of that last race? Very nice. He's feeling, he's feeling well and uh, Danny's got him uh, in, top, in top form. Is he the sort of horse that you think has to lead? Um, look, it, it all depends if uh, he is pretty quick and if there's something quicker than me, obviously I'm not going to um, go, go faster than that. I'll just take a sit on him. Um, so, yeah. All right, happy fun. He actually put in a fair effort the start before. Um, mm. Happy fun. He certainly backed it up there. Let's have a look at Silver Fig, though, in action. This isn't the win. We're going back uh, to his effort behind Red Desert here. He was 1.9 favourite and, again, didn't get all the luck. No, he should have won. I think he should have won. Red Desert's a nice horse going forward. There's a number of horses in this race that are nice enough types. And you can just see here there's not really a huge gap between... Um, Red Desert and Victory Machine and he has to change course and then he builds the momentum again late and it sort of the post comes up and he, he fails but I thought it was a very good run in defeat um, I like him stepping back to 1400 metres, he's always been a nice horse Yeah, very consistent horse as well and he, he hasn't had much luck in a lot of his runs so he'll be there all right, that is uh, Silver Fig, a little wise man beating Sonic Fighter in a lower grade uh, last time out. So both of them up in class. Yeah, well, light weights, and I like both these two horses. I think Little Wise Man in particular has got a really good turn of foot. This horse, and he's only had the two starts here at Charlton. He ran second behind Glenelg Generals. So I think it's a really progressive horse, and then came out and won this race. So uh, I like him. I like first and second. I think actually think Little Wise Man's a very similar horse to Silver Fig. Same way, they race the same sort of way. They're both greys, one's four, one's three. So Silver Fig just has the edge for me. All right, he's the favourite, Paul. Yeah, I've just gone the other way around, but I agree with Brett. I've got 13 to beat seven in this race. Sonic Fighter in there for third. And Pickin, yeah, he's been quite consistent. He's uh, had a couple of runs back from his break. 13, seven, 14 and six. Yep, same trio, just uh, seven on top for me. Silver Fig with Neil Callan jumping back into uh, the pigskin. Little Wise Man, Sonic Fighter, and Charizard's a good little honest closing type as well. If there is solid pace in the race, watch out for him late. But I think Silver Fig, in a good contest, is hardest to beat. 
Yep, I'm going with him as well. Silver Fig goes on top uh, for me. Neil Callan and uh, Tony Millard. Right, as far as the stats are concerned uh, this week, uh, Paul, who are we honing in on? John Moore on his chase to uh, be the premier trainer here. And, and uh, you can see he's got a first rate of 72%, 29 runners uh, there recently. And Uncle Steve looks pretty tough to beat there in this particular one. So he's got a, he's got a whole host of uh, runners. I think Uncle Steve uh, will be go close to winning that. Yeah, right. he'll have to cut down a few on John's size, you would think. Mm. All right. So, uh, stage. as far as best bets are concerned, uh, those poor, what are we uh, what are we going with? I'm going to go with uh, London Hall. He's won his last two since those blinkers have gone on. Uh, I think he can complete the hat trick here. Vincent Ho from a low draw, two thousand looks ideal for him. So he's the best bet. And the long shot, we'll take a chance in the, what I think is one of the most open races with Wei Feng Chama on the back of that trial win. It was a very good trial win. He keeps improving. He's only had limited starts. Uh, Matthew Chadwick will jump aboard. So he's the long shot. Race four, number 14. We'll go in that race for the uh, play. We'll throw in Ezra and Void Star. So five, six and 14 for me. Pair of Millard runners for me. Um, Silver Fig, race 10, number seven for Neil Callan. Really progressive type. We know he had some issues earlier on in the season but he's had four runs back now for a win a second a couple of thirds i think uh, he can go pretty close and i think super 18 race five number four i've got a value runner on top as well uh, but i've labeled super 18 so i might have a little bit of both actually um, <laughs> jimson the famous and uh, super 18 and then silver fig with the banker in the queue in the last with little wise men and sonic fighter who are the primary dangers I would have thought. All right, I'm going with the two group races. Uh, Flying Thunder comes up in race number three. Grant Van Nierke could have a good day, couldn't he? I think this is a horse going places lightweight, possibly some overweight. I don't think it will stop him winning. So Flying Thunder going around in the third. That's the Premier Cup. And in the plates, at this stage, Moncolian King is the outside of the field. I think good efforts uh, in group one company. Last time out behind Exultant, the start before in Handicap Company. Um, I think he... Um, I think he's got a big chance of staying on strongly in the closing stages. So uh, Jack Wong on board, Mongolian King and Rise High Seasons Bloom and Mongolian King, the Q QP for me. All right, so there we go. That's uh, Shartin on Sunday taking care of. We're back to Happy Valley, though, after a, uh, a week off uh, midweek. And we see one of the emerging stars, certainly from earlier in the season, Country Stars back in action again. It's a good sprint. It is, yeah. Now looking forward to getting back to uh, to the Valley. Of course, just three minutes, uh, three minutes, three <laughs> meetings to go there at uh, Happy Valley. So plenty of interest. And, of course, um, Alfred Chan will be able to ride... Uh, at, uh, at one of those soon too, just the last two for Alfred, he's got a suspension coming up. That country star's had a lot of work in Chungfa, a lot mm. of gallops up there, so he will come in a really fit horse into that race. He carries mm. the 133, got horses like Saul Special, uh, Super Turbo, Baltic Whisper, Handsome Bobo, so it's a really good race. Did Super Turbo, he's won on the last day of the season, the last two seasons, isn't he? You've got a memory like an elephant, Paul, yeah, he's so, uh, certainly been there, that's not, sure. not that this is the last meeting, but uh, <laughs> there we go. All right, well that's the show though, thanks uh, for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you at Shartin uh, on Sunday when we will be racing to win. Good night. Good night.